to two cups all-purpose flour, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and then we'll give it a mix. Then we're gonna add four tablespoons of cold butter, and you want them to be cold. And then we're gonna cut our butter in. And then whenever it's down to these little bitty grains of butter, we're good to go. Then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of vegetable oil and one cup of buttermilk. And then we're gonna mix everything together. Now we're not kneading it. All we're doing is just bringing it together. As soon as it comes together, we'll be done. It should look something like this. Yeah, nice and sticky. We're gonna lightly dust our cutting board with a little flour. Then we're gonna put our dough on our cutting board. Then we're gonna gently pat it out. Then I'm gonna take my special biscuit cutter that's been dipped in some flour and I'm gonna start cutting out my biscuits. Then I'm gonna take my biscuits and I'm gonna put them in an oiled baking pan. The oil helps keep them from sticking and it helps them brown. Then I'm gonna take my scraps, gently push them back together, pat them out and cut out another biscuit or two. Then I'm gonna take a little buttermilk, spoon that on top of my biscuits. That'll make the tops nice and brown and delicious. Now they're ready to go into an oven that's been preheated to 425 for 20 to 25 minutes. And after 25 minutes, they look like this. Now the hard part, I gotta let them cool. Okay, they've cooled down a little bit. Now they're still really hot. But I'm gonna take this thing, I wanna look see what's inside. Look at that, got a nice crumb to it. Oh yeah, nice. A little butter and this thing's ready to go. So, how's our biscuit? Man, that thing looks good. It's got a nice crumb to it. It's not flaky. Now, if you want to see how to make flaky biscuits, Linda at Linda's Pantry did some real flaky ones that looked really good the other day. I'm going to pop a link uh, to her. In fact, I'll put it on this eye thing uh, so you guys can check that out. Anyway, let's try this. Hmm. All that needs is some sausage gravy, and I promise in a couple days, I'll post a recipe.